I just want to end with this. Yeah. There are no mistakes. There really aren't any. Because you have a supreme destiny. When you're in your little mind, in your little personality mind, where you're not centered, where you really don't know who you are, that you come from something greater and bigger, and that we really all are the same. When you don't know that, you get all flustered. You get stressed all the time, wanting something to be what it isn't. There is a supreme moment of destiny calling on your life. Your job is to feel that, to hear that, to know that. And sometimes when you're not listening, you get taken off track. You get in the wrong marriage, the wrong relationship, you take the wrong job. Yeah, but it's all leading to the same path. There are no wrong paths. There are none. There's no such thing as failure, really, because failure is just that thing trying to move you in another direction. So you get as much from your losses as you do from your victories, because the losses are there to wake you up. The losses are to say, fool, that is why you go to school. <laughs> so that CBS can call <laughs> you. So when you understand that, you don't allow yourself to be completely thrown by a grade or by a circumstance because your life is bigger than any one experience. And if I had, I always ask people on Super Soul Sunday to tell me, what would you say to your younger self? Every person says in one form or another, I would have said, relax, <clears throat> relax. It's going to be okay. It really is going to be okay. Because even if you're on a detour right now, and, and that's how you know when you're not at ease with yourself, when you're feeling like, oh, yeah, that is the cue that you need to be moving in another direction. Don't let yourself get all thrown off, continue to be thrown off course. When you're feeling off course, that's the key. How do I turn around? So when everybody was talking about when I started this network, if I had only known, good Lord, how difficult it would be. Um, the way through the challenge is to get still and ask yourself, what is the next right move? Not think about, oh, I got all of this. To be. What is the next right move? And then from that space, make the next right move and the next right move and not to be overwhelmed by it because you know your life is bigger than that one moment. You know you're not defined by what somebody says is a failure for you because failure is just there to point you in a different direction.